This is Adam Scott Want, professor and technologist from John Jay College of Criminal Justice, part of the City University of New York. Most people don't know I spent about eight years in emergency medical services before attending law school. So I was really happy to see that Apple has included with iOS 8 and the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus a dedicated medical ID application to help first responders get critical information on you at a scene without compromising your personal data. This application would allow medics on scene to access the emergency features of your phone, click medical ID on the bottom left, and get a pre-prepared card with the information that you want the medics to see. Without this feature set up, an emergency responder picking up your phone, if they don't know your password, they won't be able to gain access to any of your contacts or who you are to be able to help. Even if they hit the emergency button, there's nothing there that they could do other than call 911. This feature could be set up in the health application, which you could see here on the bottom left hand side of my home screen. Once you launch the health application, it will go to the dashboard. The medical ID feature is the icon on the bottom right hand side. Just hit the medical ID feature and it will explain that a medical ID provides medical information about you that might be important in an emergency. The medical ID could be accessed from your emergency dialer without unlocking your phone. And if you click the button create medical ID, it brings you to the creation screen. If you want to turn off this feature altogether, click off show when locked and it will turn it off altogether. However, when on, it automatically imports information from your Mac or Apple ID. Now, I'm going to use a picture that's a little more zoomed in than the one that I use for my Apple ID. This isn't the best picture I use, but however, I want something that the medics would be able to tell it's me. Let me go ahead and try to line it up again, because even though it's the only picture I have of me on my phone, I want the best and highest quality picture so that the medics could identify whose phone it is and that it is mine. The medical ID app then goes through allowing you to set up a whole bunch of pre-configured information such as a birthday, here I've entered my birthday wrong, medical conditions of which I wrote none, although I could put in sleepwalking just to have something in there. Medical notes, my normal blood pressure is about 140 over 90. Now that's not true either, but I just want something to write in here. Allergies and reactions. Most people don't know this, but I actually do have an allergy and it is to gold, the element gold. I'm on no medication. Another interesting feature is that it allows you to add emergency contacts. In the past, paramedics and other emergency responders have asked you to use a acronym called ICE in case of emergency. However, you had to leave your phone unlocked and we don't need that anymore. In this case, I am going to set up fake wife one and I'm going to call her my spouse. Now this is not my spouse's actual information. I wouldn't want it out there on the web. I'm also going to add Dr. Needle. Dr. Needle is my doctor. By adding a fake spouse and a fake doctor, it will give paramedics access to that information in case I'm in a motor vehicle accident or other emergency. I could also set blood type, whether I'm an organ donor. I could set my weight and my height. And now when I click done, that card will be saved. If I scroll to the bottom of the medical ID card, it even tells me or the responder when I updated it last. September 22nd, 947 AM. Now if emergency services roll up on your scene and they get your phone while it's locked, which it should be because we should always keep our phone locked, they can go to the emergency option click on medical ID and without having to input any passwords get the medical ID card that you prearranged. They can even go to one of your emergency contacts such as my fake wife want, click the telephone number to the right and it will automatically place a call to the emergency contact to let them know that there's a problem and allow the medics to talk to them. Now this is fake information, so I'm going to exit this call, and, and it goes back to the home screen. Now if I don't like the information I put in my phone, I simply go back to the health application, 
click edit on the upper right hand side and if I scroll down to the bottom I could delete medical ID which would delete the entire record and reset that part of the program. Now I am going to use this program with limited information so I'm going to go through and set it up so that if I am in an accident responders could use the app in order to reach those who are important to me. First I'm going to give them the best picture I have possible. I might retake this picture without my sunglasses but that's what I have from now. I'm not going to enter a birth date and the reason why I'm not going to enter a birth date is I think it's just too much information to have out there unlocked on your phone. However I am going to enter that I am allergic to gold and I'm also going to enter that my blood type is a negative. I think that between that and adding an emergency contact card that should be pretty good for me. Now I'm going to add an emergency contact without you being able to see the information. So give me one second and I'll be right back. Well I just set up the emergency ID the way I like it. So let's see what responders would see when they hit the medical ID button on my phone. Here they have access to the fact that I have no medical conditions, allergic to gold, not on any medications. They have the ability to call my spouse and my brother, both of which numbers I have blocked out for security purposes and my blood type. Well, only time will tell how useful the health medical ID option really is in the field. However, I've created a whole host of iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 videos. So if you want to go ahead and take a look at my full 45 minute review on the left, go ahead and click on that. If not, you can watch the iPhone showdown where we look at the iPhone 1 through iPhone 6 Plus side by side. Hope you've enjoyed this video.